Hi, I'm Scientist. My name is Tanika. I'm 16 years old and I love science. I also love sharing my love for science and so today I'm going to show you how to build a foil boat and while doing so, we're going to learn about buoyancy. So first, let's build our boat. Here's what you'll need. You'll need tin foil or aluminum foil and a bunch of pennies. You'll also need some place to test your boat. So this can be a big bowl of water, um, your bathtub or your kitchen sink or bathroom sink. So first, what you wanna do is you're gonna take a piece of tin foil and you're gonna mold it into a boat shape. So um, the amount of tin foil that you'll need to use is dependent on what type of boat you wanna build. So for example, if you wanna build a big boat, use a lot of tin foil. If you wanna build a small boat, use a little tin foil but um, you have a lot of freedom with this, so go crazy. Now here's my boat. It's not that creative, it's just a little box type shape. Um, but I want you guys to be as creative as you want. It can be the shape of an actual boat or it can be as simple as mine. But really, go crazy. So I have brought you over to my bathroom because now it is time to test our boat. So what you wanna do is you're gonna bring your boat um, to your tray of water. So this, again, can be your kitchen sink um, or any sink, your bathtub, or just a big bowl of water. And you're gonna place your boat into the water and one by one, you're gonna start adding pennies until it starts to sink. So start adding the pennies one by one and maybe be strategic in your placements because again, the goal is to get as many pennies as you can. about what happened. There are two primary forces acting on the science experiment. The first force is gravity. Gravity is trying to pull the tinfoil and the pennies downward. The second force is buoyancy, or the ability of objects to float in water or air. The force of buoyancy is pushing the boat towards the surface. So your boat will continue to float as long as the force of buoyancy is greater than the force of gravity and you do not overload the boat so it will tip over or leak. This happens when the boat's density becomes greater than the density of water. So what is density? Well, it's a measurement that compares the amount of matter an object has to its volume. So in other words, an object with a lot of matter in a certain amount of volume has a high density, while an object with little matter in the same amount of volume has a low density. So basically, it's how compact an object is. So eventually, when enough pennies were added, the boat's density finally became greater than the density of water, causing it to sink and overcome the force of buoyancy. Now, experiment with different shaped boats and consider these questions. Do some shapes float better than others? Do larger boats hold more pennies before they sink? Does having tall sides help or are shorter sides better? What was the most successful design? Again, I want you to push yourself and see how many pennies your boat will be able to hold. Try to get as many as you can. So I hope you enjoyed today's activity. Please join me next time to learn how to make other fun activities while also exploring how science is applied everywhere around you.